Believe it or not, February is here. We've made it through the cold, long month of January, and surviving those temperatures truly has made us fearless, <laughs> <I love laughs> in that. some ways, anyway. Jody Harlan is here this morning to talk about a class she's got coming up about becoming fearless, so welcome mm -hmm. back to the show. Thanks for having me back after the freezing cold tundra yeah. weather. It yeah, terrible. it's nice and warm in here, though, so we're good to go. The, the big hook for me, it, it's free. And yep. everyone has some fear. That's true. Yep. You said that leading into this. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this class. So I created a class, and I actually did this class last year, too, because what I found was around January, everyone gets into their groove, and they're doing intentions, and they're doing New Year's resolutions, all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, they're like, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> like, they just, they just get stuck in their fear. So this isn't like life and death type fear stuff. This is more like the stories we tell ourselves. You know, those people that have something they want to speak about, and they want to get on stage, and then yeah, I have stage fright, I can't do that. Or coming on TV or radio or writing a book or things like that because we have so much conditioned fear to keep ourselves safe and small and comfortable that once we start doing things different and we get uncomfortable, we just kind of get stuck and then we don't go forward with what we want to do with our life. And I, and I see it all the time and I'm like, it just breaks your heart sometimes because people have so many stories, they have so many things that they can do to help people and then they get stuck in their heads and they just get stuck in their stories. So I wanted to create like a fear detox. And this one is a um, five video series and we're starting today about noon, so plenty of time to sign up yet. And we're going to do a, a video every single day and do some lives and some Q&As through Facebook and things like that. So it, it's a, a group energy is a great way to move energy in a big way because you have so much support behind you. And I always have fun clients, so that always makes it a good time. I love it. So five steps, five days as five well? Five days, yep. And so five different steps, each or one each one new step every single day. Yeah, I can't get the words out this morning. Where, where do we start? Then what's the first step? First step is sign up. So go on my website and get signed up for the class. And then one of the things that we're talking about today is really about just the the perfection energy that a lot of us carry and you know if you can't do it perfect you can't do it and I think a lot of people get stuck in that and if if you always want to do everything perfect like I messed up my words today I'll live through that you know but people get so stuck in if they can't do it perfectly they just don't do it at all and it's this big all or nothing cycle that they they're totally living all out or they're totally just shut down and that's one of the biggest subjects that we talk about today in today's video. So a little sneak peek so in. So how does your class help me overcome that and kind of go, okay, at least good is a good place to start? Yep. Well, a lot of times we have to look at why the perfection is even an issue in the first place. You know, maybe it's something that you grew up with or maybe it's just a message you got. Um, a lot of times if it's a perfection thing, there, there might be more of an inner message of just not being good enough. And a lot of times you got to walk yourself through those inner stories. You got to flip the stories. You got to change the message. And if no one's ever taught you how to do that, you're not going to be able to do it. And so I have found that just teaching people some simple steps, like let's flip that story. Like what if it did work? And what if it's not perfect? What happens if you mess up your words when you go on TV or you do a speech or you write a book? What, what's the worst thing? And then that usually leads to another fear, like people will judge me or criticize me or talk about me behind my back or things like that. So it kind of like unwinds all the little fears so you can see them. And then once you bring light to them, they don't hold as much power. Then your message holds the power instead of the fear. Wow, yeah. I love it. Yeah. All right, and that's just day one. Right. That's just day one. Imagine what we're going to do on day five. So how, how does it go from, you know, day one through five more steps? Well, what I usually do is I like to teach to the group. So we're going to see, so a lot of the people, I have over 200 people in the group already, so it's amazing. Like, it's one of my biggest classes of the year, which is super fun. And so I'm really looking at what some of the themes are. So perfection is definitely one of them. A lot of people are afraid of success. Like, what if it actually does work? You know, they'll say, oh, I'm afraid of failure and things like that. But it's really not failure because we know how to do that. We know how to mess up. We know how to clean up. We know how to fix things. But what if it actually starts to work? And what if we actually have to show up? And I think walking through just the baby steps and that, because I try to take people through baby steps. That's how I had to do it because I'm an all or nothing girl. And so teaching them just little baby steps through the whole process. And I love this. This is just kind of like a little free taste of, of what sure. else you have to offer. For though, sure, right? yeah, because I think people need to see if we're a good match. And I, I think just having a little baby step into this work, because looking at your fears is not for everyone. A lot of people don't do it. And so having just a little bit of a step and just 
let me try it on. Let me just take a taste of it. And then once they get through a couple fears, they're like, oh, well, yeah, this feels way better in my body, feels way better in my spirit. Opportunities are opening up. Then they're willing to dig a little bit deeper. Okay, so before yeah. you go, what's your website again? How can people get jodyharveler.com? And there is a little pop up that takes you right to the link, and then I'll get you in the group and we'll start at noon. I love it. I love oh, that awesome. you called it fear detox. I think yeah. we all need that, yeah. especially. Yeah. Everyone needs it. All right, stay with us coming up next. We're uh, getting pumped up and talking about Monster Jam. We're going to talk to Gravedigger here next in studio.